Is it easy for your customers to connect with you on social media? Are you sure? Hey there, it's Ginger Bell. I'm the CEO and founder of Edgy Marketing. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Linktree to set up an easy contact page on your social media. So the first thing I'm going to do is move my camera over so you can see my screen. So this is my Facebook profile. A couple of things I want to note here before we hop over to Linktree. First of all, I have a banner that has my information, what I do, connect with me on my YouTube along with the name. Now, a note here, if you have a YouTube channel, you have to have 100 subscribers before you can actually brand your YouTube account. So you want to get to 100 subscribers as fast as you can, and then you can easily brand this. My YouTube is Edge Marketing Media. And so if you go to YouTube, put in Edge Marketing Media, my YouTube channel comes up and you can subscribe to me. So make sure you do that. The other thing is on my banner, I included a picture of me. So it's easy for people to see me. That's the whole idea on branding is people see you. The other thing um, under your about. So when somebody clicks on about, this is really what you want to have easy for people to get in touch with you. I have my phone number there. When they click on contact and basic information, you can see I have my email here. I actually have two emails for my other um, business. And then I have all of my website links here. And so it's easy for them to connect with me. I've got my YouTube organizations, my um, speaking email address, my business um, website, my author website on Amazon because I've written several books. And then I have here, Meet Ginger Bell. So this is my Linktree link. And what Linktree does, it allows you to easily create one page that has all of your links. And I connected mine to a URL. So I went on to GoDaddy and I bought a URL and mine is meetgingerbell.com. It goes to my link tree and here you can see what I do. So I've got my name and I do video branding, social media tips from a long time marketing veteran. So tells people a little bit about me, what I do and then connections. I've got my website here. I've got a testimonial video here, which I think is important. My speaking site is here and then I've got a calendar link, which goes to my Calendly. They can schedule a call. I also have my YouTube link my Facebook, um, my LinkedIn. I've got um, my business Facebook page. I've got our mortgage video mastermind, a group that uh, is Facebook, Facebook group. I have a mortgage video planner that I sell and the leadership video planner, two books that I sell. So that's my link tree link. It makes it easy for someone to do. I'd recommend getting a URL. So you, when you're out and you're meeting people, I do a lot of public speaking. So it's easy for me to put into my slide deck. You can connect with me at meetgingerbell.com easy to remember. Whatever you want to do for your URL, I'd really recommend that. So let's go over to Linktree. So <clears throat> Linktree, um, and if you type into your Google search Linktree, this is what you'll see. And basically it's everything, all of your URLs, everything um, right um, on one link. And so you set up an account. It's free. Um, I have a paid um, subscription, which is not very much. I think it's, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks a month and allows me to do a little more branding on it and allows me to do a background and things like that. So once you're on to Linktree here, you're just going to add your links. And so for me, so if I was going to add a new link, you click on add a link and then it's going to give a title. So you're going to give it a title here. And then you're going to put your URL in here. And um, and then if you want to do a thumbnail, you can do something like that. So let's say I've got my June homeownership. That's the big thing I'm in with June. It's June homeownership month. Downloads. You can go there and get free uh, homeownership graphics. So put your URL in here and make sure you put everything in here the way you're supposed to. So I got the URL June Home Ownership month.com. And 
that's it. Now you've got a link there. So now that link is live. So the other thing is now you're going to move this around so you can put it in any order that you want. Um, so if this one, let's say I'm going to move this down here and I'm going to put it, um, probably I will put right above my books. So there, and I've got it in that order. So now the order that you're going to see here is, and you can see it's right there. So that looks a little long, so probably what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll shorten that up a little bit. So if I want to click on this, that thing looks a little long, so I'm just going to put homeownership downloads. You can do whatever you want. If you have a special thing, maybe you have a giveaway, you want them to register for something, you can add those links as well. And that's it. Now what you're going to do, this is my link tree. And so it gives you a link tree based on your name. So set up your name and now you click on that. And then all you have to do is copy this and then go over to your about and you can add it in here. So you can add it. You see, I've got, um, you can add any website. And so put that in there. You can choose, you know, whatever you want. And so this is my YouTube, but if I want to add that, then I'm just going to go in here and add that in here. Copy and paste it in there and you're good to go. So when you look again at me, there's my information in here. And it's a great way for people to be able to connect with you. And I think that's important in your social media. So you want to make sure I'm going to look at a couple of different um, Facebooks here. Matt does a really good job on his social media. So he's got a banner here, his connections here, and um, he's got his information here. One of the things he's got his NMLS here. He doesn't have his NMLS here. Just on a side note, make sure you have your NMLS information in here. When you click on his about and his contact information, he has his website there. If I were him, I would add my URL for my um, YouTube channel. I would put whatever other additional links in there. You can add as many websites as you want onto Facebook, but that way people can easily connect with you. I like to also add, and you can see that I have here, schedule a call. I really recommend on your link tree to add your calendar on there so that it's easy for someone to schedule a call. We've really found on social media that people are more likely to schedule a call with you than they are to fill out an application or to do anything like that. That's the other thing you can do in your link tree. You can add, if you have an apply now, you can put that in there. You can put as many links as you want in there. And so I would really recommend putting your link for apply now, recommend your YouTube channel. I would recommend um, putting in your calendar link, your website, any information that makes it easy for people to connect with you in a lot of different ways. And that's what Linktree does. It gives you that option. And to give you an example, so here's an individual and you look at Jennifer. Um, her banner is not great. It's blurry. So I would definitely change that. Uh, and I can do another video on how to create those in Canva. Her basic contact information on here, there's no website. I mean, if I wanted to get in touch with her, there's absolutely no way to do that. On her overview, she has where she's at. She doesn't have her NMLS ID number, so I would definitely put that in here. But this is the most important thing. You know, if you're posting things on social media and you have no way for them to connect with you, you're missing out. So that's the number one thing in doing that. I'm gonna show you another example, Dave. Dave is a client of ours and you look, he's got his NMLS information in there. Good job. He's got his website in there, which is great. So that way they connect and then his contact information. He's got uh, his social links and I would add some more information in here. So he's got his phone number in here. You can put an email address in there. I'd put his YouTube channel in here. Those are the things that you want to do. And if you do a link tree, then it's easy for them to be able to do that because you can see on mine i've got that right there so when you go in right here it comes up right away meet ginger bell click on that guess what it's going to give all your connections in one place so that's how to use linktree 
I'll uh, make sure and drop the information below as far as the links for that. But I would really recommend going and getting a Linktree account and adding that to all of your social media. So this is Ginger Bell. Hey, if there's anything we can do to help you in your marketing, specifically video, we do a lot of video marketing. We provide you with content. We'll do video editing, video production, whatever your goals are regarding marketing right now, make sure and get in touch with us. You can find my information at meetgingerbell.com or at edumarketing.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.